Welcome to the new Python tutorial series on the Coding Professor YouTube channel. So in this first episode, I'm going to assume that you already have Python installed on your computer. So whether you're on a Windows, on a Linux, or on a Mac, normally Python is already pre-installed. If not, then I would recommend you to check out Conda or Anaconda because it allows you to manage the Python libraries very efficiently. And so that is a topic for another video. And so to find out whether you have Python or not on your own computer, you could go ahead and fire up your terminal or your command prompt and then just type in Python and if you see something like this then it means that you already have Python installed on your computer and so this is called a Python interpreter and we're running it directly from the terminal so we just type in Python and then it triggered this interpreter of Python and so in this prompt where there's a three greater than symbol you could type in numbers and then it will print out whatever you have typed in and so Number one is an integer. If you think of it as a data type, then the data type of this is an integer. If you type in 1.2, then the data type is a floating point number. And so how do you know that number one is an integer or 1.2 is an integer? How can you find out in Python? Well, you could type, type, and then put in the number or the input that you're wondering about and hit on enter. And then you see that it has int, so it is an integer. And so if you type in type 1.2, and so it is a floating point number, or it is a float. Aside from numbers, you could also type in strings, which is comprising of characters. For example, it could comprise of only a single character and denoted by a quotation mark. And so you could type in type a inside the quotation mark and then it tells you that it is a string and so it could also be double quotation mark as well but the thing is don't mix don't have a double and then a single okay otherwise you'll have an error and you could also type in like hello world and then it'll re be recognized as a string so if you type in hello world inside the quotation mark then it's gonna give you hello world and you could also do the same thing by typing in print and then hello world and then you get the printed text of hello world and another thing about the python interpreter is that it could also act as a calculator so for example you could type in one plus one you could have one plus three and it just adds up the number you could also multiply them as well two times two two times three or even divide two divided by two okay okay so now that we're acquainted with typing in numbers adding the numbers and the data types of string integers and floating point number and so please stay tuned for more tutorial videos on python and so if you're finding value in this video please support the channel by smashing the like button subscribing if you haven't already and also make sure to hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And until next time, happy coding.